So we just made butter and the question is what am I going to do with all this buttermilk that's left over from my butter? And the answer is you're going to make the most delicious buttermilk biscuits for your family. And today we're going to make buttermilk biscuits from scratch. In the last video I showed you how I make homemade butter from raw milk and what's left over is buttermilk. I don't know if you can see it. Buttermilk is left over from making butter. So now we have the perfect ingredients, raw um, ingredients to make our, our uh, buttermilk biscuits. So uh, to, this is the end of October. Um, we're getting into the season where it's just so uh, it's so much fun for me to be in the kitchen. Uh, it's getting really cool outside. I love to bake. I love warming up the kitchen with the oven. And even though it's a messy kitchen, um, this is one of my favorite places to be in the winter time and or fall winter. And I like making things from scratch. So I have, not only is it better tasting, it's better for you. So I just encourage you just try it. Um, I haven't bought uh, canned biscuits in probably 10 years so um, the, the I prefer these my family prefers these and um, they're really fun to make so let's get started all right so first you're gonna need flour and I keep my um, we buy organic uh, flour bread flour from a meal that's local to us so um, but if you don't have a place that's local to you uh, that you can go and pick up some organic flour I would suggest um, checking out Azure Standard and I talked about this in the last video too because I use a lot of their products in fact I'm using their um, Himalayan salt in this recipe as well but they have um, they have all kinds of baking ingredients like flour and baking soda, baking powder, and things like that as well. So, but I'm going to use three cups of flour. And you can use all purpose flour. You can use bread flour. This is actually bread flour. Two. Three. All right, and then we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. And I get my baking powder and baking soda online from Amazon. And I'll link that in the description as well. But you can get that from Azure also. I just had some already that I had bought a while back that I had put in these jars. So that's what I'm using. Then you're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda, which is not much at all. Okay. Y'all know I don't measure, and that's fine. I get a lot of flack for that. But if your stuff turns out great and you don't measure, then I'm like, what's the big deal, people? Okay. Um, then a teaspoon of salt. And like I said, I use the um, Azure Standard, the, the extra fine Himalayan salt. All right, I'm just gonna give this a little mix. Got it right here in this bowl here. Give it a little stir, get it all incorporated here, okay? And then I'm going to use lard. Uh, you can use butter. If you'd like to um, which I have because I just made some as you saw in my last video but um, we have a lot of lard because we used to raise uh, guinea hogs which had a lot of lard so I have lard that I'm gonna use today and you be the judge of how much you want to put in there I usually do um, about half a cup. Okay. And 
I'm going to take a fork to cut this lard in. I'll just go around the bowl several times, maybe two or three times, of just making sure that this lard is cut up and that there's no balls of it anywhere so that there's not like a concentrated bit of it um, in the, the dough that you're making. So I've got this mixed together pretty good. Now I'm going to add my buttermilk and I love that it's still got like bits of butter in it that didn't get mixed up in there I can't tell you how much buttermilk to add to it um, because I never measure that I just I go much more by the consistency so you just add a little bit like maybe half a cup stir it up some Do some more. So I've probably added about a cup so far. We'll see if that'll do it or not. Probably so. this point I'll probably start using my hands to mix because it's getting a little more difficult to mix I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so that I can have my cutting board I'm gonna go ahead and put some flour out on my cutting board so it's ready to go Oh yeah, I think that'll be good enough. About a, about a cup of buttermilk. Maybe three-fourths to a cup of buttermilk is gonna work good in this. So then I'm just using my hands to finish getting it mixed together good. And make sure there's not a lot of leftover flour in the bowl. Just get it all incorporated. I'm so minimalist if you guys didn't realize that about me already <laughs> which I'm sure you do that I do not um, actually roll out my biscuits I will um, just kind of flatten it with my hands like this and then get it to the thickness that I want it to be And you can make different size biscuits. We generally make like pretty large biscuits and then, you know, everybody gets like one or maybe two, but you can make some smaller ones if you'd like to, or if you have smaller kids. All right, so I'm gonna take my large biscuit cutter. Uh, you can find these online. I can put a link in the description for these. Um, I got these at actually an old timey general store and uh, they work really good. Just put them in and twist. 
stick it in and twist. So these are about a half inch uh, thick. And those will be perfect. They'll actually plump up pretty good, even more so in the oven. So these are gonna make pretty big biscuits. That's why there's not gonna be a whole lot of them. But you can always double this recipe if you'd like to make a bunch of them or have, have a bunch left over. I'll just take the, the extra right here. It didn't get cut. And I will make some more out of this one. So now everybody in the family, in my family, which is pretty large, will have at least one biscuit and then I'll have this little baby biscuit here for one of the kids if they want it. That's with the leftover stuff. So then I'm just gonna take these to my cast iron skillet right here and I'm gonna put these in the skillet. You want to preheat your oven to 400. And I'm just going to melt a little bit of that yummy butter that we just made. And I'm going to brush some butter on the top of these. Okay, and they are ready to go in the oven. So your biscuits are gonna cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, I think mine tend to go a little longer, like 15, because I want them to get brown on top. Hey, huh? guess, guess what I made y'all? <gasps> Put butter on it, fresh mm -hmm. butter, too. Mm -hmm. I did. Man. Fresh I, butter. I taste mm. butter on here. Fresh good, butter, yeah. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, that you will subscribe if you haven't already. Just tap the um, subscribe button and the little bell that'll give you notifications when we post new videos. We usually have about three videos a week. And um, speaking of which, since it is getting into the season of doing more cooking, more baking uh, for my family, what would you guys like to see? I'd love to do some videos that are um, on recipes that you guys are interested in. And I'd like to hear from you. So I'd love for you to comment down below with some recipe videos that you'd like to see over the next few months. Because like I said, I'm gonna be in the kitchen more and um, whether the kitchen is clean or not, I will bring you guys along and show you what I'm baking and um, just keep it real. So um, what would you guys like to see? I did these two videos because you guys had requested it probably on Instagram. I can't remember. Uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, we're just Farm Life Outfitters on there. All one word. And um, yeah, so I want to hear from you. What would you like to see? Uh, now that I've got biscuits going, I'm thinking we need some gravy to go with those biscuits so I can show you guys how I do gravy at some point if that's something that you're interested in. But just let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.